Attack on Titan, 10 104th Cadet Corps soldiers that should have trained harder. Though the Corps has many strong fighters like Mikasa, a lot of the 104th Cadets could have avoided death by training more than they did. The Cadet Corps is an organization in Attack on Titan whole sole purpose is to train the younger generation into soldiers, offering them three choices after graduation, the Scout Regiment. The Garrison Regiment, or the Military Police, the last of which is the most prestigious because of its closeness to the Royal Government. The 104th Cadet Corps are the only ones to appear in the story. Almost all of whom graduate from the Southern Division. The class valedictorian is obviously Mikasa, but other major characters like Reiner, Annie, Aaron, Bertolt, and Historia rank in the top 10. That said, there are a few soldiers who clearly didn't put in enough work to survive in the field. 10. Ruth D. Klein is killed off screen. Ruth D. Klein is such a minor character that the manga doesn't even give her an identity. She is officially named in Wal Cena, Goodbye, for the first time. She is part of the trainee group in Trost District and the Colossus Titan reappears for the first time in years and breaks open Wall Rose. Ruth is probably killed by one of the marauding Titans in the district. And is last seen lying dead before Annie. 9. NACTIA's Milius Zaramuski are devoured while assisting Aaron. NACTIA's and Milius Zaramuski are both dedicated to their mission, but take the necessary precautions when the Titans attack Trost. Both men are posted as the middle guard and warn Aaron not to recklessly lunge at the enemy, for obvious reasons. Their common sense naturally has no effect on the hellbent protagonist whose actions drag his two friends into the middle of battle, resulting in their deaths. Aaron takes the loss personally, referring to them by name later in the story. NAC and Milius should have known not to charge in headfirst just because someone's in danger. 8. Sandra Gordon are helpless against the Beast Titan. Erwin Smith selects a group of scouts to accompany Levi, Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin to Shiganshina district, the site of the first Titan incursion. Here, they are beset by the Beast Titan, whose overwhelming force and breakneck speed leave little chance for survival. Among Erwin's subordinates are Sandra and Gordon, both of whom are terrified of what's about to happen to them. Despite their fears, they follow their commander into the Beast Titan's line of attack and perish in the process. Their deaths are unfortunate, but some clever maneuvering might just have extended their lives. 7. Marco Bot's reliance on ODM gear leads to his demise. Marco Bot is one of the top scorers of the 104th Cadet Corps training program, placing 7th overall. As such, one would expect him to think on his feet especially considering the fickle and highly dangerous nature of his future opponents. But when Reiner orders Annie to remove Marco's ODM equipment, the latter only pleads for mercy before a pure titan starts devouring him. Marco has more than enough time to leap through the window right next to him and avoid a horrible death. So much for his so-called academic achievements. 6. Franz Kefka is torn in half. Franz Kefka is one of the few genuinely amicable members of the cadets, constantly encouraging everyone around him to resolve their problems without instigating conflict. In fact, he helps Mikasa separate Jean and Aaron and they begin a dinner room brawl and later assisted Aaron in getting back to his bunk. Franz's death is not shown, but Hannah's painful attempts to resuscitate his bisected body are heartbreaking. It's still not clear why some soldiers refuse to take easy shelter, but it might have something to do with their hero complexes. 5. Samuel Daz are decent soldiers but terrible revolutionaries. Daz and Samuel survive for most of the storyline, unfortunately long enough to turn into villains themselves. They're swayed by Flock's charismatic retelling of Aaron's malicious intentions, joining the Jaegerists and battling their erstwhile allies. 
although they clearly know that Armin, Connie, Mikasa, Jean, and the others are actively fighting against Eren, they somehow believe the fake story that Armin hastily concocts to get the heroes access to a ship. Samuel and Daz are strong on the field. But their failure to fulfill their tasks backfires on the Jagerists in spectacular fashion. 4. Hannah Diamond's death is a mystery. Hannah Diamond is an optimistic person, expressing the sincere belief that humanity has seen the last of the Titans. Her naivety is shattered by the assault on Trost. And her psychological state worsens when her lover is killed. Armin tries to tell her that Franz is long gone, what with half his body missing, but Hannah continues administering CPR to the corpse in abject desperation. She disappears soon afterwards, presumably turning into another Titan victim. Hannah's desperation is understandable, but she could have easily run to a rooftop when Armin asked her to find a safe place. 3. Tom doesn't keep a tab on his gas levels. The most efficient tool that humanity has created against the Titans is the omnidirectional mobility gear, a device that helps its wearer move in three-dimensional space, greatly increasing their chances of evading or attacking titans. It's powered by gas cylinders, which contain a limited amount of air, without which the ODM becomes little more than dead weight. Tom forgets this extremely basic concept, allowing his gas levels to drop to zero. What's worse is that his carelessness results in two others dying with him. 2. Mina Carolina dies, trying to save her friends. Mina Carolina isn't very involved in the story, but all her appearances show her as a pleasant person with nothing but good intentions. However, her hopeful dream of joining the scout regiment is dashed to the ground, or, in her case, a building wall, when a stray titan incapacitates her by snagging one of the steel wires extending from her ODM. Mina can only look on helplessly as the creature grabs her with both hands and swallows her whole. Her incompetence aside, it starts looking like an institutional problem and so many new trainees are slaughtered. 1. Thomas Wagner is killed by an abnormal titan. Thomas Wagner doesn't share the idealism of his cohorts, instead preferring to view the world as doomed from the very beginning. However, he undergoes a radical metamorphosis following Aaron's impassioned rhetoric about the survival instincts of humanity. During the Trost invasion, Thomas playfully recommends having a titan-killing contest with his teammates. But is snatched and eaten almost immediately after. His death is what triggers Aaron's frenzy, ultimately leading to the first appearance of the attack titan, but Thomas really should have realized the difference between real life and a betting